Alright, library hall and reading recommendations. Uh, I guess it's kind of funny, I was realizing it the way back, I was like, this is the first time in a long time that I've gone to the mall the day before I went to uh, the library. Usually it's the same day, usually it's always, it's always been Thursday, mall and library. But, you know, and that's mainly because my grandmother usually usually takes me, but she, like, like I said before, like I said before, like I explained, she couldn't do last week and it was a whole big thing with, I can't go this day, I can't go that day, you know, I could have gone so many days last week and said, told yesterday. Um, so, Library Hall. My Hero Academia, they finally had Volume 1. Uh, I'm not a huge manga anime fan, but this is the one that I've always wanted to check out. That and Demon Slayer, but Demon Slayer, they had, um, they didn't have Volume 1. And Chainsaw Man was the other one. That that just goes to show how popular an, uh, manga is. Is that even at libraries, Volume One is hard to find, unless you are the first one, obviously. And this has to be read backwards. And that also they have. And also, I found funny is they have their barcode on the other side. Um, and ten bucks, I think. I, they they cover the price, but I think it's ten bucks, which it should be. Book this small. Um, Dragon Hoops, a book I'm giving a second chance to, just because I feel like I should, you know. I, 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 um, I didn't like it at first, it was too, it focused too much on basketball. And for whatever, re whatever reason, I thought it'd be like him growing up, like the Gene Luing Yang's, uh, biograph biography, like him growing up, and it's not like that. It's him coaching a ba basketball team. But he likes comics, so that's why it's a comic book, graphic novel. It didn't really need to be a graphic novel. I mean, he, he he's an artist, too, so I guess that's why it needs to be one. But, like, some of them, like, you you understand why. I guess, yeah, actually, it makes sense. But, um, it was just, it was not very interesting to me. And I think, I think, I, I think giving it a second chance will like it better. Oh, and it's still Roger's li Memorial, li Memorial Library one, so that's right, too. Kind of completely tear this open. Um, because they had gotten that, what is it called again? I keep forgetting the name of the book. Uh, the Victories. Because they got in the Victories, I got uh, powers again. This is Icon. I think I think this was the one that Marvel Marvel now owns. So te technically, this is a Marvel book. Um, I should get that first issue back up because, uh, yeah. Um, and this is volume two, right? Yep, Volume 2 of the Darth Vader book, and Volume 3 of the Star Wars Jason Aaron book. So you already know how I feel about those two books. Yeah, Powers, I, I really enjoyed it. It's, I, I just want to reread it again. I actually should double, I actually should, and I should have done this before, but check to make sure that um, Intro Loans has, an, at, at least the next volume. I think there's like eight books in the series. That makes sense now. So I thought I, I was kind of uh, concerned, if you will. Oh, good widescreen. I got. I got to remember with older movies, there's a widescreen and a full screen one. But I was kind of concerned there for a second because I was like, um, why? Because because one was Tuesday, and one was Thursday. I was like, why is it like you're playing one bag? Like it'll only be for Tuesday or only for Wednesday or only for Thursday. So yeah, the uh, the I, I interlibrary truck comes in on Thurs Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, this is a movie I, movie I really enjoyed. It's one my uh, it's a good good family movie. Everyone's dying for a comedy. Not too scratched up. I always gotta check that first and foremost with the with the DVDs. They didn't have the um oh and Ro I mean Roberts is in it. Oh yeah, Zach Galifianakis. I should have known that. Because I, I was talking to my mom about it, and she wanted to know who was in it. See, it's a comedy. It's probably a coming-of-age comedy. It's kind of... It's, it's definitely a comedy, but there's it's a lot heavier material in it than your average comedy would have in it. Those of you who have seen it know what I mean. Uh, the Green Lantern Intergalactic Lawman. This is Grant Morrison's run on Green Lantern. And I, um, I had the Black Stars one way back when because I thought that's where his run started because I didn't know he, I didn't even know he had a run. And I was really upset to find out that his run had already begun and it was a sequel. I should have known, I guess, but I don't know.
This one, a movie I've never ever even heard of. It was advertised in that Seekers Into Mystery book. Which once I finish that, you'll be getting a sick, you know, pretty in depth review of that. Spoilers, I really enjoy it, but you'll get my whole review once I review it. I haven't finished it yet. It's 15 issues. I'm on issue 12. I just finished issue 12. Issue 12. Uh, so the Frighteners, they advertised this in Secrets and the Mystery, and I had never even heard of it, and I thought it was just one of those ones that isn't very good. You know, it's one of those forget forget forgettable horror movies. But I looked it up, and it got pretty good reviews. Let's see how... Uh, cause this is pretty... It's pretty old. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty scratched up. Time will tell if it's good or not. If it's, good, if it's uh, good condition. It would not. It's good. I don't know why they would do that. Like, I, you feel like with the older movies, they would check. And you could, I, I, can, I can tell right off the bat whether or not the book is new or not. And, oh, yeah. Spoilers. No elf quest. I was so angry to find that out. Because at first, I got the wrong elf quest. I got book three, which I returned. Um, and then I complete. I put in the complete elf quest last Thursday, and it took a week to come in. But I think that was because it was taking them a long time for for it to go from um, awaiting approval by library but library staff to in transit. There's three three steps: awaiting arrival, awaiting approval from library staff, other libraries, and then in transit finally, and then uh, arrived. So four. Oh yeah, it's just three of them again. Why did, they, why did they think it was more? Oh, this is a Hanna-Barbera universe. Huh. Okay, this is a Snagglepuss. Um, Snagglepuss Chronicles. Exit stage left. Um, I know nothing about Snagglepuss. I, you just, you just now were surprised. I, I, I just now saw me how surprised I was that um, it was a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. So I, 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 know, I know nothing about Snagglepuss, but they said it was just, this is really good. So I was like, you know what? I'll check it out. <coughs> And I wish I'd gotten that um, Hanna Barbera Looney Tunes crossover. Which they have that. Never mind. I'll we'll just put that in next time. Uh, Supergirl Volume Two. Again, you already know how I put about Volume One. And then Ultimate Iron Man Volume One. Now, a long, long time ago, I had gotten Volume Two of Ultimate Iron Man, and I never got Volume One. Back in the day, I would just get a book if it, if it looked good. I wouldn't care if it was Volume Two or Volume Fourteen. I would just buy it. That's why my Ultimate X-Men uh, collection looks really weird. It's like 1, 2, 4, 8, 14, 16. It does not go in order at all. And that was just because I just didn't care. Now I do. Now I want Volume 1. If they don't have Volume 1, I'm not going to get at Newberry at all. Unless I have Volume 1, of course. But yep, that's all of them. Why does it feel like it's not... Something just does not seem right. Why am I... I got these. Huh. It's, it feels like it got a lot less than I thought I did, you know? You know what I mean? That is weird. Alright, reading, reading recommendations time. I, I knew it was a lot less. And, in fact, it, it was only two that didn't come in. Um, An Animal Man and ElfQuest. Animal Man, I've, I've already, I've already let's see, Grant Morrison one. I've already read that. I just want to read it again. Because it was that good. I hate my emails. They don't like to go away. I'll say mark is red, and they'll be like, nope, you didn't mark it as red. Alright. Hot fuzz. So, um... Sorry, I was distracted. I, was, I thought I'd get interrupted. Alright, hot fuzz. Um, I, I got... I, I knew nothing going into this movie, so I'm going to do the same to you guys and not tell you anything about the movie. Outside of what I, I already knew. It's a comedy. Um, it's, by, it's also directed by Edgar Wright, and while, while I really, really enjoyed this movie, I still think Baby Driver is among my favorite of his um, work. I've seen The Shaun of the Dead, Baby Driver, Hot Fuzz, obviously, and uh, Scott Pilgrim. I think that's all of them. I don't know. There could be more. But um, out of all the four, I would say it goes Baby Driver. Um, and this is like, they're, they're all good movies, obviously. So when, when one's at the lowest tier, it does not mean I hate it, obviously. But it goes like Baby Driver, Scott Pilgrim, Hot Fuzz, and then Shaun the Dead. 
I, I need I need to re rewatch Shaun of the Dead. In fact, I got it was a uh, double feature. I didn't watch Shaun of the Dead. I, I, I already owned it, so I was like, I, I've already seen it. Why didn't you see it again? You know, waste, um, not not waste time, but you know, I gotta return it. If I, if I have the movie, why watch when we already have? It, ha it had to be double double feature because originally I was supposed to get the Blu-ray. And this is why I, want, I like to get the Blu-ray, so because sometimes it's not in the best condition. So anyways, I, I like Hot Fuzz. I, I'm getting so distracted. Um, so sidetracked. So I'm, that's why my video is always 30 minutes longer than it need, need to be. Alright, so. So Hot Fuzz was really good. Um, I keep saying that. I keep saying that. Um, it's, 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 it's R-rated, it's but it's only rated R for the violence and the language. It's pretty violent, so you don't like, you don't like super violence. I just mainly play for laughs, kind of, sort of. Um, I don't, I don't think it's like, I don't know. It's, it's more like, it's over the top, is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, very enjoyable movie that I would definitely see again. Um, Marvel's Projects. Now, if you look on your, uh, if you look on Amazon, you'll see that I, that this book isn't coming out until, like, next, well, actually, Amazon's a bunch of weeks off, because Amazon's annoying. But Amazon, like, not clean, it's, like, November, I think. And that's because, yes, it's November 9th, I think. Um, and that's because it's a reprint. Um, I failed on that. I was trying to make a joke and I failed. Um, so I'd, I'd heard this, the, the re reprint was coming out. It's a trade paperback, by the way. I, I was so confused. Like, if it was a uh, oversized hardcover or whatever. I don't even think near mint condition new. But it's a trade paperback, uh, reprint of Marvel's projects. And I wanted to read it before it came out. Because no, so I, I looked it up to see if it was available because I knew it was a reprint and they had it and I read it. I thought it was good. Um, it's not like a super. Oh my god, this is the best book ever. Um, it's Ed Brubaker's take on Marvels, but because he loves Captain Captain America to death and just the Golden Age in general, it's all of that. It's 1940s, and I wish I had known that going in because I thought it was just Ed Brubaker's take on Marvels. You would get a story from 1940s, maybe two of them. Because there's actually eight issues. Marvels is four. So if anything, if anything, they can do two from each. But I thought it'd be more like that. And then get like some from the 1960s. So get Fantastic Four and Spider-Man. Where I start my Marvel. And my DC too. Uh, DC I do post-crisis. The majority of like my books I, I do post-crisis. Like 80s and beyond. That's my where, where I start with Marvel, DC, anywhere. Sometimes I'll get a Silver Age Marvel book. Like, I, I want to get those Fantastic Four on the buses. All right, I, I'm getting super sidetracked. These Stanley ones, but uh, Marvel's project it was, it was good. But and I, I'm glad I did not. I'm glad I didn't spend thirty bucks for each issue miniseries. That's outrageous. It's outrageous because there was there was a. Uh, I was already like. Um, I already thought that that Guardians Volume Two was overpriced. I got it for like ten bucks, saying actually less than that. It was half off. I remember, yeah, it was. Uh, if I remember correctly, but yeah, it was. But you know, it's like thirty bucks or eight years. So that's why I'm glad I didn't, I didn't spend money on it. Uh, I would, I would kind of recommend it. The trade paper paperback is coming out pretty soon, uh, next week for in comic shops. And if you if you like Captain America and Brubaker, it's more of that. Did I call them to me? Are they? No, they, they text me. I think it's writing a text. Um, it was just like, my 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 my, 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 my I'm so stuttery. I, I, I just, I'm so, I, I don't know what it is. I just like, I can't talk sometimes, apparently. But, um, but if you like Ed Brubaker, Captain America, you'll probably enjoy this. And I, I like his writing. It's just, I feel like the time is what I don't like. I don't like, like, the 1940s. But even that, I don't mind, like, books that take place back in time, which is very slow-paced. Very slow-paced. It, it did not need to be eight issues. Uh, then Fables. I'm split on whether or not I'm gonna get the, you know, I'm not gonna get the, the $240 box set. I'll probably, at the most, get them on Angel Loans. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Fables, of Fables, of, um, Fables in general. You know, I, I like books that are different characters. But even then, like, I, I liked, like, um, I, I don't, I keep getting, okay, I keep getting sidetracked. I think it was just, it was, um, I don't know. It, it's very hard to explain what I don't like about books like Fables and Sandman. 
And this is definitely, definitely, I liked it a lot more than, not even then. It's a lot more modern than Sam. I don't know. I'm getting really sidetracked. I keep thinking, I keep thinking I'm getting interrupted. So I gotta get that mindset because I'm not gonna get interrupted. Um, but Fables, it was just like, I think it's the characters maybe. I don't know what it is because I don't mind the setting. There we go. That was where I was looking for. The setting and the it's not a period piece because it's definitely definitely takes place in the present, or when when that present was when it came out, but de definitely takes place in the present. Um, so it's not like it's like oh it's too old fashioned for me. No, it's exactly what you'd what I'd want from a modern retelling of a fa fairy tales. I think it's just fairy tales, but I don't even it's like it's a murder mystery which I should like. And it was just like eh, but um. I think for books like Last God and Once in Future, actually, even, even that's King Arthur, but it'd be more in, it's more up my alley. This is just like, oh, it's Snow White and Jack of Fables and Jack and the Beanstalk in the murder mystery. Okay, cool. I, I, did, I did enjoy the second, the Animal Farm um, retelling one, but for the most part, I'm just kind of like, it's not my thing. I, I think the writer, I, I think it's the writing more than anything. It's just a bit too slow for me. It's just different than what I expect, I guess. I don't know. It's also a bit wordy, too. Uh, Supergirl, I really enjoy. That's what it's probably my pick of the week if I did that. If I don't, um, I, I, I usually say like how how you recommend it, but yeah, Supergirl, I, I highly recommend. This is one of those forgotten new new 50, 52 books. In fact, nobody um has reviewed it at all. No comic pop review. No near mint condition review. No gem mint review. None of the usual suspects have reviewed this yet. I'm sure, like, some small YouTubers, i.e. me, have, but, like, other than that, no one, no one even talked about this book. And it's a shame, because it's a very good book, and it's, a, it's one of those new 52 books that actually tried. It wasn't just trying to, like, do whatever the hell they want with it and change everything. Um, I haven't read a whole lot of Supergirl, so I don't know how much they've changed of, that, of her mythos or whatever. But from when, from when I've been reading of the Batman v Superman Supergirl book, uh, it seems they didn't change much. That was the, um, it's Batman v Superman Volume 2, but, um, it's book one. So they give you both that, they give you both stories, the world's finest and the Supergirl one. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Spider-Man, the evil that men do, that black cat one. It's an ugly book. It's an ugly book, and it didn't need to be. The first two issues start out so damn good, and it was like it's like it's a and there's someone's dealing out heroin, and it's like okay that's different. We haven't gotten a lot of drug books from Spider-Man that aren't just PSAs, and this wasn't a PSA. This was a real world Spider-Man book, and then it gets really ugly, and it didn't need to be because all it had to because they they had like a three year hiatus, but but the ugliness doesn't starts before the hiatus, so. It wasn't like the hiatus was a reason why they changed it, no. Um, but it's, if, if you can get through a heavy, heavy subject like that, then, of, well, assault, a sexual assault, then you, I guess you can read it. But for me, I, mean, I, I knew what I was going into, but I guess I just didn't, like, fully understand. And I, when I did, I was like, why did I take out this book? Uh, one thing I want to mention about it, and this was really weird, it had a misprint. So issue one, it was halfway into issue one. In fact, I thought it was—I thought that this got torn out because it's an older book. So I thought that the pages had fallen out um, at the library they had like long, long ago. But no, it's just that's the way it, apparently it was printed because issue two has part of issue one in it, and then issue two shows up again. But it's issue two. I, I wish I had shown it before. I, I really wish I had because it's really weird. But just think of it like this. Here, I'll do it like this. It's like if. Powers, okay, so this is issue one. Uh, this is issue one. Let's say this shows up right here, you know? That's what it was like. It's a pretty good way of explaining it, actually. It's like a good job. Um, and it was really weird. It was like, so for issue one, I had to go onto the Kindle version and, and download that free sample. Thank God Kindle gives you a free sample. It's like when I've, I've been, I wouldn't have gotten the full story. Um, if I've gotten the actual good issues. But yeah, not, not a book I'd recommend at all. At all. It's pretty ugly. Um, the first two issues were good, but then it just gets too ugly. I'm like, why? Why do you need to do that? I get that he's an evil guy, but... And it just got... It gets this... We, oh, it's a weird part in it, too. About half... About, uh... Fourth or fifth issue. 
they talk about like how the brother is it's one of the bad the bad guy's brother. He was talking like he's like he's like Nightwing's powers, not not, not sorry, Nightcrawler's, not Nightwing, Nightcrawler's po powers. He can teleport, and he was talking about like how back in the day, like he was, apparently he lived that long, um, like something like Hitler, like he was teleporting Hitler and killing him. It was so weird. Like, they just it was too convoluted, and that I completely went in one ear and out the other. I completely forgot what they were talking about. It was like. One of those things they put in, it was like, why did you even leave this in? It's like a, it's like a deleted scene for a movie that's kept in the movie, and it's really off. Like it makes the whole book, a whole, it makes the whole movie feel really off with, with it put in, you know? Um, Darth Vader and the Star Wars books, I really enjoyed. The Kieran Gillen Darth Vader, I think I enjoyed a lot more, because it was a lot more fast-paced. Uh, Jason Aaron's Star Wars was, was fast-paced, too, which is that Darth Vader one, I was like... Really fast paced. Um, there's a lot of splash pages that they let the panels breathe. There was there's definitely dialogue in there, but it it was not it wasn't too much dialogue, but also not too little either. And Aquaman, I thought was all right. I mean, for a, for a follow up to Jeff Johns's run, I knew it wouldn't be as good as Jeff Johns's run, but I thought it'd at least be passable. And this was borderline bad. In fact, um. The one book that is not leaving from the, uh, awaiting approval from other libraries is Aquaman Volume 6. And if that doesn't come in, I'm not gonna care at all. I'm, I'm just gonna go with the Rebirth series. I hear it's really good. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, Dan Abnett wrote the last volume of the New 52 run. So I kinda have to read that beforehand. Doctor Strange, The Oath. It's official. I'm not a big I'm not a big Doctor Strange fan. Um, I, I think it's, I don't know what it is because I, I like the movie. I think I just think it's like it's, it has the potential to be really like to have really kooky imagery and like really weird imagery like the movie did, and it don't really do that. It's just kind of a straightforward. It was a bad guy. I got to get him, and he had get a cure for cancer. It's a bit, but Doctor Strangey. But I feel like it could have been more Doctor Strangey. Doctor Strangey. I, I I don't know, but. I, I I don't know what it was that I really like about Doctor Strange as a character. It just I, I like sorcery kind of stuff, but I'm not like super into that. I guess I don't know. I just thought it was okay at best. I know I'm disappointing a lot of Doc, Doctor Strange fans because Doctor Strange the Oath is like the best Doctor Strange book apparently, according to a lot of people, or one of the best at least. Um, the Avengers Captain Marvel book is the, the Avengers the Enemy Within. Um, it was all right. I like the storyline that they followed up with from Volume 2, where Captain Marvel has, like, a brain tumor. just because it actually gives her a, um, uh... Like, uh... She's overpowered, so it gives her something to, like, not be as overpowered. What's the word I use? I don't know. It gives her something... It gives her a fault. So, I, I really enjoyed that, how it was actually, like, it wasn't just Captain Marvel OP, and everyone likes Captain Marvel, the book. And it's, a, it's, a, it's apparently what's going on in the Captain Marvel book now. They're just, it's just Captain Marvel pre Appreciation Day, every single issue. But, for what it is, I thought it was alright. Um, I'm gonna read the 2014 series everyone loves, apparently. That I think is, I, no, even some I trust, they, even some comic YouTubers I trust said it was really good. Um, so, I'll, yeah, time will tell. And finally, Black Sad. Eh. I thought it was just way too long. Each issue was 60 pages, well, 53. Um, well, I mean, it was like 55. Basically 60 pages. It felt like, it, one of them, each book thing took me like an hour and a half to read. It was just like, it was very slow paced. It did not need to be slow paced. It could have been 30 pages each, not 60 pages each. Uh, and it was just very slow. It was good. Wait, I already reviewed this. I already reviewed this. Whoopsies. That's right, too, because I, I, that's right, too. Now I remember. I thought I had already reviewed it. That's right, that's right, too. I was like, wait, I already reviewed this. And that's right, too, because I, ha I had gone on Tuesday to drop off the books, but I only finished one book by Thursday, so I just had my mom pick them up on her way from, on the book, pick up the books on her way home from work. That's why I had, that's why I had, uh, fucking ElfQuest for so long. The wrong ElfQuest book. 
but yeah, I actually I already agree with that. It was like I said before, it worked much better as a movie than it would a comic, because with the with a movie you don't have to the, um, it's you know it's acting, you know, so it makes the dialogue better. I guess you could say. I don't know. That's it. Wow, twenty five minutes.